Day 127 The first break of the glorious traveler Curiosity, excitement, joy and yearning In Medina Every child, every old man and woman and every youth was full of all these sentiments They had heard that the Prophet had set out for Medina But no one knew that he had spent three days in the cave the delay in the arrival of the Prophet had made them all upset and worried. They were wondering if it was possible that the pagans had caught him. For the last three days, all eyes had been fixed on the road from Mecca. Every morning, they climbed up to the roofs of their houses and to the top of the dead palms and kept a watch. When the temperatures got too high, they went back indoors. Again, to escape the morning temperature, the Muslims had returned to their homes. At that time, a Jewish man was still on the roof of his house and noticed that some people in white garments had appeared on the horizon. These travelers must be the ones the Muslims of Medina were waiting for. The Jewish man shouted at the top of his lungs. There he is! The great man you have been waiting for has arrived and is coming. This good news spread around like lightning. Suddenly, everywhere, there was a joyous, joyous, festive mood. People were telling each other the great news. The prophet is coming, the prophet is coming. Muslims filled the streets to welcome him. This was a moment that nobody would ever experience again. It was a joy that no one had ever experienced before. Close to 500 Muslims lined up on the streets. They were shouting all together, Allahu Akbar! As their deep voices rose up to the sky, they ran to meet the Prophet. The Prophet and his fellow travelers had sat down under a dead palm to get some rest. Sweet Medina with its palm trees was smiling at them from far away. Some of those who were welcoming him had never actually seen him before. For this reason, they were very excited. As soon as they came to the Prophet, they said, Welcome, O Messenger of Allah. This was their chance to see the Prophet for the very first time. The Prophet in a white garment was smiling at them. Then all the Muslims just stood there watching his beautiful face. After having some rest, the Prophet mounted his camel and continued his journey along with the people who came with him to Medina. They halted at a village called Kuba, outside Medina. But there was still some distance to be traveled to Medina. The people of Kuba became very happy when they heard that the Prophet was going to stay in Kuba for a while. A Muslim by the name of Kultum acted as his host. That day was the happiest day for the Muslims of Medina and also for the Muslim of Kuba.